Hello! Right now, we are going to discuss about weighted mean sa Likert scale. Weighted mean is a kind of average. Okay, and right now, we're going to start na mayroong 100 respondents. And we have here 5 questions. Meron na tayong results. We have 50 sa essential responses. We have 25 responses for important, 15 responses for low importance, and 10 not important for question number 1. Meron din tayong scale and coding. Essential is 1. We have important, 2. Law importance, 3. And not important, 4. Right now, we are going to get the weighted mean. And the total of the responses, of course, 100, which is equal to our respondents. Respondents is 100. Responses is 100. We have here the formula of weighted mean. As you can see there, the letter E like, so that is a sigma. And then, close and open parenthesis, number of, number of answers, and then the weighting factors over the sigma or the sum of the weighting factors. So sum is equals to the number of responses times our code which is 1 for essential and then for the importance or for the important I should say we have 2 times 2 low importance we have 15 and that is cell D4 times 3 and then not important then for B13 okay, times 4 and that is over the total responses as you can see here I have dragged it down Pero mapapansin nyo sa loob ng cells is that the other cells also have been moved. What are we going to do next? So of course, we need to consider this. So yung mga cells na B12 hanggang B14, we are going to freeze those. You are freezing by pressing F4. And after that, we can drag it down. And also, we need to get the mean square. So, may sagot na tayo sa weighted mean. So, we have here the 5 cells. Right now, we are going to square naman yung mean natin. So, yung code, okay, has a vital role in this part. So, what are, how are we going to do this? So, equals the cell that we like to square. And that's it. We can drag it down. So as you can see here, 4 times 4 equals 16. Sa pagkuha ng mean square, pareho lang din sa pagkuha ng ating weighted mean. 
we are why are we getting these mini square para makuha natin yung standard deviation para sa Likert scale so pareho rin okay so the number of answers time is the cell the cell code and then if you freeze din natin siya mamaya take note that the weighted mean and the mean square has the same formula ang kaibahan lang is that we are going to square the codes if this is applicable to your study so you can use this but if you are using Google Forms or um, Office Forms like that, so there is an automatic um, graphs there that you can use. So how are we going to get the standard deviation? So we need to square the difference of the mean square and the weighted mean. And just drag it down. And what happens you need to my zero, and that's what we call zero is standard deviation. And interpretation is very important. So we have here the value allocation 0, 0 to 1 1.49 is essential 1.50 to 2.49 is important 2.5 to 3.49 is low importance and then we have 3.5 to 4 is not important Para interpret, kailangan natin magbase sa weighted mean natin, of course. So, 1.85. So, just a technique is that we are going to get have a formula here, equals, and then the cell that we like to copy. And then, 1.85 is in between 1.50 to 2.49, and that is important. So ulit and call it, ang mean is average and ang weighted mean is a kind of average that is used to calculate by multiplying the weighted associated with a particular event or um, value and then it calculate the average of the value of the data. So of course, weighted mean of 1 is an essential. And that's it. So I hope you have understand with this and thank you.